Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital, but I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? <sighs> That's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I will see you later. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Perhaps you were trapped or locked in somewhere as a child. The horror of war could have brought this memory back to the surface. Are you joking? I grew up on a farm. I had a bloody fantastic childhood. Do you want to talk about what- No, I really don't. An irrational- Well, Doctor, take a guess then. Perhaps you were trapped. Are you joking? Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Hello again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe, for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. 
Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon. But it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know, I never thought I'd love a man. Enjoy your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself.
under control, more or less. Don't forget to keep an eye out for this guard of something, sweetie. My guess is... Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, miss. Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. You never paid him a visit at the Pembroke Hospital, did you? Well, I don't intend to. In Clay's case, I'm not against a medical mistake or a little help from the Spanish flu. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway? No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory, and this is our law. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. <laughs> I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say? Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Idea who she's dealing with. 